So sensor 101, this video will show you how to create a selection of items and how to send that to somebody. As mentioned in previous videos, uh, since we're very good at selecting things, you can select anything that you see and it gets a screen border and you can do that in different folders at the same time and it adds up to, what you see here, this thing here, the selection bar. When you click on this, it shows you all the items that you have selected and you can review them. You can watch them in big, for example, in high resolution. And you can also get rid of items. You have the small X here when you hover, hover over an item and uh, this is how it deselects it. The other way to deselect things are that you click on the item again and then it disappears or it reappears, in this case here. Or if you want to deselect the whole thing, you go on the small X. I think it's a little bit too small, we will change that. And this deselects the whole thing, everything that was selected in different folders. So better be careful not to press that if you don't want to lose your carefully selected selection. Um, here we have the sidebar with all your folders. And now let's do something, uh, let's select some complicated stuff. Uh, we're here in mosaic mode. The mosaic mode shows you the element with uh, uh, like um, in all its complexity. In the case of Instagram, for example, uh, it's just for, for play. We define every Instagram picture we displayed as we call the vintage Polaroid, which, um, what's happening here? Let me just change this here. I think this is in not in manual mode. Now I'm in manual mode. Um, you can move things around and you can select things, for example, like that here. If you start a new selection, it deselects the old one. So there's nothing you can do with shift yet. We want to add that. But if you just continue selecting, it doesn't deselect any one. So it's a different behavior from the finder, for example. So let's say I select these items. Let's just get some beautiful pictures from this photo sheet here, like from Coca, and maybe some black and white, and this and this. Now we scroll down here, we also select this item, and this item, and this item, and this item. I can continue to move things around, actually, while I'm doing this. And uh, also this one, and maybe this one. And what I do now is I review my selection. I click on the selection bar, and I can see here what I selected. Looks beautiful. And now there's a very important button. Right now it's down here. Not well placed, this is just a dummy. So uh, like we just placed it here for a, while, uh, for a moment because we didn't know where to place it uh, until then. Probably to come down there. Here you change the view. This is uh, the picture view, which shows only a picture. This is the snippet view, which in different sizes shows like the whole element. So again, here you can switch. Here you can change the space in between those items. Some people like it really narrow, or like this. Some people don't, and for them they have an option here. And if you're in the snippet view, you can also decide the scale of the items. As you can see here, you make them really small, you can make them really big, but in the moment you start resizing the whole selection bar, it scales it with it. So uh, I personally prefer when it's about picture, I prefer the picture view, uh, because it allows me to yeah, really take advantage of the powerful display options of sensor. So now I created a selection, I closed the selection bar, but I want to continue to create a selection. So I can go to other folders, for example, to this one, and uh, there's nothing in it, actually. It's a mood board. Uh, here we go. Here we have a lot of uh, articles that somebody bookmarked. So I continue my selection. I want this article, this article, and this, and this one. And also this one, this one, it takes a while to build it up. I'm in German in a very slow collection. So if I now go to the selection and I'm in picture mode, I see only the pictures from these articles, which is probably, let's just wait until it uh, builds it up. It's not what I want. As you can see here, for example, this article, he has this picture that only shows the picture. If you start dealing with article, you probably want to go to the snippet mode. Here you can collapse this again. Like I said, this mini is not the way it should be. And now you see here some articles. You see the articles, you see the pictures, you see Instagram pictures, and now you created this selection. Let's continue a little bit more. Let's close this. Let's collapse the folder. Now it's on my desktop. You can see it's still everything selected. Maybe I just close this. I want this item too, so it's now in the selection too. Now I uh, go down here and open a folder that I placed down there, and I continue my selection. 
Now I go to another folder and I look at some other Instagram pictures from some other um, account uh, bookmarked. And now I have a pretty sophisticated and uh, uh, diverse selection of items just to show how complicated this can be or like how complex this can be. So now I select all these items. Now I'll go back to the selection and I'll go down after reviewing it again. I go to send and now I type in a name. Let's call it test for test sakes. And now Sensu creates an internet page that anybody can access. It's a public link similar to what you do when you share a folder on Dropbox, just that Dropbox doesn't look like that. Here, this viewer always comes with a limited functionality of Sensu. For example, I can zoom in, I can move items to other places if I desire, so I can select items. That's a beautiful part. I can change the view down here to the grid view, for example, or in case it's on the mood board to the mood board view, but here nothing was placed. And now, first of all, I can access all the links. For example, I click on this link or I click on this Instagram link. It links back to the Instagram account. So this is the easiest way to bookmark some items and to send it to somebody. And I will later show how to do that with videos. And now after making the selection, for example, here we look at the selection. I continue to select something, I can send that back, which is a pretty cool feature. Very important for photographers who would send an editor some items and I want a selection back or for a girlfriend who sends her boyfriend some hotels and tells him, can you please pick one that you like? Or how about wedding photos? Can you pick the ones that uh, we should use? Or how about products? He gives you 10 products and you go to a supermarket and you just uh, select the ones that you want to have and so on and so on. There's so many ways how to use this. We basically do selections all day long and Sense is a good tool to do that. Instead of doing it by a clumsy email, you can do it in a very visual way. And now I send the selection back. I give it another name. For example, I call it um, test two. And now it says sending. And if I now go back to Sensor, whoever that person was who sent me that, it will send it right away direct to, to Sensu. And just right now, because we're not in Japan, and because we are here, uh, it doesn't happen immediately. In Japan, it would happen immediately. So here we see the notification, everything that happened. If I click on this, it opens the folder with the items that I just sent back. And that is a pretty cool feature. So um, just to show you how we can do that with videos, for example, I have my sensor toolbar installed down here and let's go to a folder that's pretty much empty here right now and I bookmark some videos. Um, let's go for example for some surfing videos. I really like that. Surfing in Chopu. Here we go. And now I take these and uh, let's make this a little bit more organized. I go down here, I create a new folder, I call it surfing. I load this down into the selection bar and now it's here. It's an empty folder. And now if I go to back to YouTube, where is it here? Uh, then the uh, tab, the surfing tab appears down here. Like I said, right now because we're not in Japan and the over region scaling is not implementing yet, will change. It takes a while. It takes like five to eight seconds. In Japan, it takes like 100 milliseconds. I think in LA and in Ireland, it's the same thing, but should happen momentarily. Let's just wait for it to happen. Come on, go for it. This takes way too long. It shouldn't. Either that's a bug or I'm crazy. Let's wait a moment still. Is this the same account? Yeah, here we go, surfing. Sorry for taking so long. Like I said, this will change definitely. So uh, now I drag these items into this. Beautiful part is I can just do that really, really quick. I just look for what I'm looking for and putting it in. And now imagine you want to send somebody five YouTube videos. How would you do it? Like you would probably go up here and copy the link and share one by one or put them into a Word file or an Evernote file and just copy that and send that via email. And what you can do here now is you create all these videos, yeah? you put them all together and you bookmark them. You can also review them. Like here in big, you can also play them right in there. And now when I go back to Sensu, now I see the items appear here. Normally this would happen in a second again. We didn't have the overreach and scaling implemented yet, but just for show, 
Look at this. The video that I just bookmarked is running in here and I can run all those videos at the same time, which is pretty amazing if you think about it. And there's no other tool that can actually do that. Look at this. So now I selected all these items. Some of them are still loading here. And now I want to share that with somebody. It's basically a selection of items, uh, of, of videos. That's just for review. Uh, we see the folder also up here. It's still receiving those bookmarks. I just stop those videos. Clicking on this X, I stop the complete thing. Let's also stop it here. This is still running. And let's close this folder. So here we have this folder now with all those bookmarked videos. And when I click now on uh, open shared link and you can take those selection of videos and send that to somebody and this somebody can uh, zoom in and can now enjoy those videos with the links they can also watch it all at the same time which is a pretty sick thing to do with so many videos just for show let's do it for a moment and enjoy let's zoom a little bit down so we see all the videos at the same time this is the way to send videos these days. You just drag them into sensor and you create a collection instead of doing with a clumsy email. Of course, what I also can do is I can take these videos and add something else to it. For example, this Instagram picture, just drag it inside here, or we can also go down here and take something from here, some snippets, some articles. Now I do something special. I go down here to copy mode. So instead of moving, I'm copying now items and just drag them in here. One, two, three, there's still an animation that doesn't really work, it comes from all over the place, but it works. So I just continue to drag items into this. And now I have the selection here, open shared link, and what you will send to your person that you want to send it to. Yes. Oh, here we still have the delay. Let's wait for it for a second. As you can see here, this is because it runs over Ireland right now, but we'll fix that. Six changes to second. Let's just wait for it for a moment. Here we have the notifications. It shows us everything that I receive. In the meantime, I just just fold around, enlarge it a little bit, show you a few of the different views. If the grid again, and the mosaic again. So let's just open the shared folder. And here I have now all these items all mixed like different formats, videos, articles. I can access these articles, for example, if I click on this here, this is from the GMAP website. It links back to the article where I bookmarked it. Here we go. Or I go to this here, which links back to YouTube. Yeah, I still have the sensor toolbar open. Let's close this by clicking on the S. That is the way to send content these days. And I can combine that with objects from my, from my hard disk or from anywhere else. Well, thanks for watching and see you next time.